Hello everyone, welcome back to Z Physics. Today we're going to be talking about number density. Now what I want you guys to do first is to have a look at this question and then see whether you can answer it given that I've written out the definition of number density right here at the top. So this will be a perfect opportunity for you guys to pause this video and attempt the question. So what actually is number density? As we can read in this definition, it's the number of charge carriers per unit volume. Let's uh, translate this written statement into mathematics. I'm going to say that the number density is just given the symbol lowercase n, and this is going to equal to the number of charge carriers divided by the volume. In this case, the charge carriers have assigned capital N to this quantity and the volume is just V. Remember, anytime we have per unit volume, we are actually dividing by the volume. So what are the units of this equation? Well, the number of charge carriers, this is just a number. So this quantity on the top of the fraction that has no units whereas the bottom of the fraction is has units of volume which is meters cubed so that means that the units of number density are essentially one over meters cubed and the way we would normally write that is just m to the power of minus three now let's apply this formula that we've just learned to those three cases which I asked you guys to have a think about at the beginning of the uh, this online lesson. Uh, just as a little note, each of those smiley faces or not smiley faces represents one charge carrier. In most cases this would be an electron but it could be some positive ions as well or some negative ions. Okay, so let's have a look at the first case. Let's apply the formula. We know that our number density is going to equal the number of charge carriers divided by the volume and in this case the number of charge carriers well we can see that there's just one of them like so and this is in a volume of one cubic meter so this means that the number density in this case let's call it n a this is just going to be one m to the power of minus three let's do exactly the same procedure for the uh, for case B as you can see we have the same volume one cubic meter but this time we have three charge carriers so once again the number density is equal to your number of charge carriers which is just three divided by the volume which is still one which will give us a number density of three charge carriers per cubic meter so three m to the power of minus 3. For the final case, our volume is, um, is a little bit different. So uh, as we can see that each of those signs is 2 meters. So let's, um, and we have three charge carriers. So let's apply this formula. N is going to equal the number of charge carriers. So this will be NC in this case, divided by its volume, like so. As we can see, we have three charge carriers, so this is going to equal to three. Now volume in this case will be given by two times two times two, which is two cubed, like so. And uh, if we just divide those two numbers, this will be equal to 0 0.375, like so, m to the power of minus three, because I'm just using one significant figure. In fact, uh, I'm just going to give that in uh, slightly less um, uh, with less significant figures I'm going to say that this is equal to 0 0.4 m to the power of minus 3 so every time we need to calculate number density um, this is actually equal to the number of uh, charge carriers per unit volume okay folks so hopefully number density makes sense now if there are any questions please feel free to drop a comment and i shall do my best to answer it as quick as i can thank you very much for watching